hey guys welcome back to a whole new vlog welcome if you're new if you are new here welcome to my channel my name is michelle welcome to my youtube space and for my returning subscribers my ogs thank you guys so much for tuning in thank you for being here and with that being said let's get into this vlog as you guys could see before i rudely interrupt that scene that i that clip um i am doing it as you guys can see by the title it's a reset vlog because it's the end of the month and at the end of the month i do a lot of resetting and good for me or not so good for me because i'm not happy about this um my helper said that she could not get into my room yesterday so i am having to clean my room so i'm gonna do a little clean with me you guys will see how i kind of clean my room how you know i wipe stuff down and that kind of thing i don't think i ever give you guys like a, even like a room tour but it's because i kind of want to work on the room so once i'm doing that you guys will see like a room tour but i did get some new sheets i got a new sheet set so i wanted to put that on my bed so i'm just here doing laundry and guys it's very important for you to do like a refresh of your your home for me going into a new month my home needs to be fresh my home needs to be fresh um and i know there's a lot of reset vlogs here on youtube so i was just like that's basically what i'm doing so why just not make it into a vlog you know what i mean um but i haven't eaten all day so i'm actually gonna go get something to eat and yeah that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go get something to eat while my, i do my laundry and it is evening time because i am someone that loves 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 to clean in the evening time i just find it to be very therapeutic i just find it to be better i don't know it could just be me um i was supposed to go to the gym today so hence the reason why i have on gym like clothes but i'm not gonna go my trainer call me and tell me that he can't make it and i'm kind of happy because i actually wanted to clean up my space um because i just been feeling like my space is not is get is a little bit heavy so i want to do some wiping down and stuff like that of my space and i also have dishes in the sink but lucky me i have a cleaner so i don't have to clean up my living area because that's pretty clean because she did it yesterday but i definitely need to clean my bedroom and my bathroom and your bedroom and your bathroom i think that's where i spend most of my time so i need to always make sure that it is clean it is light because like i said that's where i spend most of my time i'm also uploading a vlog let me share with you guys i'm also uploading a vlog right here as you guys can see this area is a bit messy and i am also and i'm also watching downtown abbey but let's do let's finish up cleaning my space i'm gonna play some music and um i'll talk to you guys later because i definitely want to finish cleaning my my bedroom tonight and they're really tough and they're really rough and nothing's working 
change, but there's something inside of you that says, I just have to follow that. Because you don't know who you're gonna be, who you gonna be, who you gonna be. <laughs> Let it go. We all go through disappointments and things that are not fair. It's easy to hold on to the hurts and think about what they said, relive the offense. We get up in the morning, it's the first thing that comes to mind. We don't realize how much that's affecting us, souring our attitude, draining our energy, limiting our creativity. If you're going to fulfill your destiny, you have to get good at letting things go. Jesus said, offenses will come. He didn't say they might come. If you're a good person, if you're nice, nobody will do you wrong. He said, disappointments will come. Betrayals, things that are not fair will come. How you deal with these offenses, how you handle the hurts will determine whether you move forward and see the new things God has in store or whether you get stuck bitter over what didn't work out. I've heard it said, if you don't heal from emotional wounds, you will bleed on people that had nothing to do with it. How many people are living wounded over how they were raised, a friend that walked away, business partner that cheated them? Instead of letting it go, they replay it in their mind, relive all the hurt. They wonder why they don't have good relationships. It's because they haven't healed. They're living out of a wounded place. God brings a new person, somebody great, but they're so insecure, they don't feel valuable, attractive. Hey guys, so sorry for the bright lights. Listen, if it's one thing for my bathroom, it will give me light. But I am, um, it's minutes to 10 or 10 o'clock. I feel like I've been cleaning, I've been cleaning. 
but I'm basically done with the bathroom. I have nothing else to do when it comes with the bathroom. I try to wipe down this glass, but I feel like I'm gonna be like my Amazon my landlady. If she ever decides to get a different glass, she should consider getting the glass that does not get like smeary when wet. I think they sell them now, they're just really expensive. But I am basically done with my bathroom, it feels clean and it's very airy as you guys can hear. Um, but I have two, I'm gonna put some more hand wash in here because it's about to be done. Um, I got this from Dwellings if you're from Trinidad. I got these from Dwellings in the Christmas time. I don't know if they still have but normally i go in with the bayless and harden um hand wash this is the hand wash that i generally use and i just pour it in here um the bottle is also aesthetically pleasing so i don't necessarily need to do this but i do it nonetheless because this matches my bathroom aesthetic which you guys will probably see in a minute the colors that i have in my bathroom i also think that i'm going to start doing regular laundry um weirdly today i did i washed my sheets and stuff like that before i did my regular laundry i don't know what's up with me um and then i have some toilet paper i have like a little toilet paper holder so i'm gonna go put that there just in case i run out so making sure that my bathroom is stocked and i need to put some mats on the floor get my towels my hand towels and then we're done with the bathroom and then i can move on to my bedroom oh i did mop the floor it feels so so clean like when i tap like i'm at a point where i was just messaging my girlfriend and i was like i don't think my um my health would deep cleans my apartment so going forward, I'm gonna either have to ask, I'm gonna either ask them to deep clean it or I'm gonna deep clean it myself because what I'm realizing is I'm not a messy person. So generally, if you come to my place, you're not gonna see that it's like messy. If it's messy, I'm sick or I'm just really being lazy. But anybody who knows me knows like if you come to my house, it's generally gonna be clean. Um, this is my mother <laughs> in me like we're not we're, we're not messy people but what i know i'm not a messy person i generally love a clean space um but yeah i am going to put up my towels and then i'm gonna finish off in my bedroom and then i'm gonna take a shower and go to bed because i that's what i want to do i'm tired i'm actually feeling tired um but yeah Let's do that. Let me stop rambling. But my place feels clean. Like I'm so happy because it's, it feels clean. Like, who doesn't love that? This new person has to keep them fixed. Go overboard to make sure they know how great they are. The problem is that's not sustainable until you get well. Until you let go of what didn't work out, not carry the hurt, that wound is going to hinder you wherever you go. If you're still wounded over a position you lost, you'll go to that new company, defensive, on edge, not friendly. You're treating them based on what you've been through, but they had nothing to do with it. It's much more freeing when you learn to let things go. It wasn't fair, that's okay. God will be your vindicator. He'll take care of who did you wrong. It's not your job to pay people back. They hurt you once. Don't let them continue to hurt you by holding on to it. You lost a loved one. I know that's painful. And it's okay to go through a season of mourning, but you can't hold on to the hurt. Living in mourning is going to keep the new doors from opening. <laughs> I am 
who I am and where I am simply because God is who he is. If it was not for God, I would have no testimony for you because I would have failed every single test. Plain, pure, and simple. I can sit here today and tell you flat out that it is purely because of God's grace and mercy that I exist today because of his favor. See now, he he shows us favor in life because of a combination of things I've discovered. And this is not the whole answer to life. Um, I can assure you it's not. But this is a combination that I've grown to understand better and better. And I wish I had gotten it earlier in my life. But here it is. If you take faith and you combine it with an incredible work ethic, then God has the greatest opportunities to show you favor. That's the best way I can explain success to you from my standpoint. It is the combination of faith and work that produces the most opportunities for God to show you favor. See, a lot of times we want God to bless us, but we ain't doing nothing for him to bless. So now we sideways in the equation a little bit. But see, if you had the faith in God that God can do anything but fail, that God will get you through, that God will see you through, that the God is the God you serve is the greatest giver of all good things. If you kept that faith intact through it all and you produced an incredible work ethic, that allows the most opportunities for God to show you favor. Hey y'all, so welcome back. It is 11, what time is it? It's 11 13, and I just finished, literally just finished showering. I took a shower because y'all know when you clean the products and all of that, you kind of don't want to have that on you. Um, just going in with my skincare now because it's Friday at 11 and I am about to go to bed oh and guys when you use when you clean it be sure to moisturize your skin after because those cleaning agents are cleaning agents and they will definitely dry out your skin so you want to be mindful of that and you want to make sure that you're moisturizing your skin and i did not use gloves so i definitely needed to moisturize my hands because we're not trying to have ashy hands around here i'm not i didn't brush my teeth or anything like that because i am about to make some tea i do have prosecco so i'm thinking if i should have the prosecco but i'm gonna make some tea because that's what i feel like having and i bought some flawless muffins so I, I'm gonna have that with some tea for dinner. I'm not hungry or anything like that, but I do feel like I could eat, so I'm deciding to eat. But yeah, um, let me put a little moisturizer on my lip child because my lips feel so dry, which makes no sense because I'm about to eat. I don't know why we do the things we do, you know, because that this what I'm doing here makes no sense, but my lips feel dry, so um Guys, excuse my shower head. I don't know why it's always making noise though.
and guys this is basically where i'm gonna end this video thank you guys so much for watching thank you so much for tuning in and i really do hope that this video is going to help you with a little bit of motivation when when you have a clean space when you have a clear mind it really helps you to get through your month get through your week and I, and so i will definitely suggest that it's the beginning of may let's write some goals down and let's crash those goals for the month of me with that being said i'll see you guys in my next upload have a great first week of may let's have a good month and i'll talk to you guys in my next upload bye